This tutorial is sponsored by 3D.sk, human photo references for 3D artists and game developers. Check them out by using the link in the video description below. Okay, so what we need to do now is get the first up pose created. Right, so as you can see, this walk cycle is coming together. So they're making a change every three frames. So if we have a look here, we've got one, four, seven, and the next thing that we need to look at is creating a pose on frame 10. And you can see this is our up pose. So that's what we're going to create. So let's move to frame 10. Okay, the kind of distinguishing thing about an up pose is that everything is at the highest point in the walk cycle. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to start by moving the hips up I'm going to go as high as we can without breaking anything. So then what we'll do is we'll work on the front foot a little bit. So the first thing I'll do is remove the foot brake because we don't need any of that. So I'm going to set that to zero. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to move it back a little bit just to create this sort of shape that I want. And I'm going to change the foot roll just so that it's kind of facing that way and then just a little bit more uh, positioning work needs to happen here so I'm just going to make sure that's raised up ever so slightly yeah so that's the kind of shape that I want to go for um, on the front leg on the back leg though I'm just going to increase the foot roll and the foot break a little bit because what that will do is it'll allow me to raise the hips up a little bit more without overextending anything like that. So I think that is what I'm going to go with for my up pose. So with that pose done, what we're going to do is just select both feet and we're just going to press S to set keys and everything just to rule out any of the problems that we've had in previous steps. Um, and then in the next step, we're going to create the second up pose.